Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and we've got a 30 for 30 bundle which has just randomly appeared, kind of like those Pokemon where they just randomly appear out of the grass. It just appeared on the store, and I thought I'd share it with people today because it's actually one of the best selections of assets. And it includes stuff like FPS controllers, third person controllers, things for RPGs, things for skyboxes, environments, terrains, post processing, loads and loads of stuff that you could use. And I always like to keep everybody in the know about all the stuff that you can get for free and paid. I did create a video on the free assets for this month and if you check out the unity asset store too Cinti have their 50% off sale but you also get a free asset their battle royale asset pack if you use Cinti 23 at checkout and then also two days left to get the Cinti bundle on humble bundle which is 18 of their most popular packs which is great if you want to do some prototyping across any engine. So looking at the two bundles, there's one at $20 and one $30. I'll quickly go through what's in the packs and then I'll have a more detailed look at each one so then you can make a more informed choice. So in the $20, there is the Aurora FPS, which as you can see would be an FPS system. We've got the Action RPG Starter Kit the dialogue animations, Surforge for creating PBI textures, Digger which allows you to do terrain caves and overhangs which is not usually supported in the terrain system, the underworld cave environment, basic motions, procedural lighting, fantasy skybox, the HUD navigation system, chat GPT for games, hex basic painted 2D for different biomes and different styles for like a board game, the low poly terrain Polaris 2020, Control Freak 2 specifically for touch inputs, the post processing profiles and then for the $30 is U Modeler, Maintainer, the 100 stylized weapons bundle, text draw, optimizers, low poly modular terrain pack, the look animator, toony tiny RPG set, shader control, the medieval fantasy town, alien terrain pack, a simple SQL, the easy grid builder pro and the third person shooter bundle and then the epic tune visual effects 2 and it's on for the next 11 days or so if you're looking for this i think it's great i'll put all the links down below too and now i'll go into them in more detail so you can get an idea of if they might be useful to you so we'll go through the $20 bundle first. That comes with Aura FPS, which is a full FPS system, which includes a full character controller, full support for the new input system with walking, running, sprinting, jumping, zooming, loads of stuff. Then we've got the Action RPG Starter Kit, and this is a perfect template for any Action RPG, and it includes a skill system, skill trees, enemy eyes, save and load systems, shop systems, skills and inventory. Then the next one is we've got the Dialogue Anims. So it's 104 different animations for dialogue in various styles, including subtitles, cheesy and creepy expressions, and so many more. Surforge is an editor extension that enables you to create high quality 3D rendered PBR textures directly from scratch in Unity. And I've never actually seen this one before, but I like the look of it, but I will check it out myself. So you can use the specular and metallic workflows and use UVs, show UVs, snap them, do loads of editing for text and labels, real-time emission. The next one is called Digger, which is terrain caves and overhangs. And now by default, Unity's terrain system doesn't support putting holes and other stuff in the terrain without a bit of legwork. So this allows you to incorporate so you can dig into streams, caves, mountains, and do overhangs. The next one is the underworld cave environment. So it's 105 prefabs all with LOD stages, 24 unique models, seven particles, and a big, big demo scene. Next one is something called basic motions. So it's humanoid 3D movement, emotions, interaction animations, and more, whether you need that for crouching, swimming, idling. The next one is called procedural lighting, which is an insanely performant lighting solution and suitable across mobile, VR, desktop, URP, and HDRP. And you can have huge configuration. The next one is something called the fantasy skybox, and it's 178 different cube maps with 160 panoramic high quality skyboxes to be able to use whether you need them for day, night, rainy, snowy, sunrise, or sunset. The next one is the HUD navigation system, which is a collection of the most common navigation concepts that you can find in Unity, whether you need a radar, a compass, an indicator, or a minimap. It has it all in one go. Then we've got the ChatGPT for games AI integration, and this has up to date for ChatGPT 4, 4, 3.5, and all the other one. It's secure, it's fully integrated with the editor, and you can do everything that you need to directly in Unity. The next one is the Hex Basic Set Painted 2D Terrain, which is a 2D set of tiles 
on a board like style game with, with 13 biomes with four different variations at 256 by 384 pixels with loads of terrains for grassy forested waters, desert dunes, marshland and more. Then we've got the low poly terrain which is the Polaris 2020 and this harnesses the power of the C sharp burst compiler, job system and instance rendering for exceptional performance when rendering something like this and fully GPU accelerated. Next one is Control Freak 2 and they call this touch input made easy. You can have buttons, joysticks, steering wheels, trackpads and it's got everything that you need to use and it even combines with loads of awesome assets on the store too. The next one is called Post Processing Profiles and this is a selection of 25 different profiles for post-processing version 3. Whether you need different presets for Unreal Engine, CryEngine, Realistic, Low Mode Crazy, Camera Blur, Underwater, Horror Themes. So the $30 selection, first one is a U Modeler, which is an entire modeling suite to be used directly inside Unity. So you actually never need to exit to Blender, 3ds Max, anything like that. You can export and import, you can do UVs, direct modeling, you can use loads of compatibility across loads of assets. The next one is something called Maintainer, which is to help keep your project in good shape. You can fix project issues, find a replace unused assets and find assets and references and stuff in the hierarchy that you might need to find to help you just shape up your project so it doesn't become unruly. The next one is the 100 plus stylized weapon bundle. So as it suggests, 105 stylized weapons in various different styles with two handers, one handers, hammers, maces, bows, crossbows, quivers, arrows, and many more. The next one is something called text draw and you can create any mathematical expression in Unity with ease. Next one is something called Optimizers. So this allows you to do culling for deactivating and activating objects at distance. It can optimize your scene with lights, particles, multiple terrains for nav mesh agents or scripts and lets you control everything across different pipelines. The next one is the Low Poly Modular Terrain Pack and it's got a huge variety of different modular terrains, rivers, mountains, islands, ice assets with over 1,500 different modular terrain prefabs. The next one is something called a look animator and this allows you to animate procedurally from the head so you can twist and simulate neck and spine movement with realistic behavior all out of the box. Next one is the Toony Tiny RTS set. So it includes a selection of mechanim, mobile ready, 50 bodies, 70 heads, four horses, nine machines, 75 weapons, and 20 building models, all in this little quirky style. Next one is something called Shader Control, which gives you full control of shader compilation and keywords for usage within your game. So you can improve unwanted shaders and keywords and reduce build time and app size by optimizing everything that your shaders do. Next one is the Medieval Fantasy Town Village Environment and it's a massive selection of prefabs for this with over a hundred prefabs with many pre-built and modular buildings with interiors, exteriors, and multiple doors and window options. Next one is something called the Alien Terrain Pack which is an alien fantasy environment with organic shaped mountains, rock columns, glowing mushrooms, and it's got 200 prefabs and it includes loads of things for the standard render pipeline, URP and HDRP too. Next one is Simple SQL, and it helps you integrate database storage into your game or project to create level map links, store player stats, keep inventory specs, and so many more. Easy Grid Builder Pro, so you have multi-grid support, modular building support, you can set buildable prefabs in a matter of seconds and it has it on a nice grid system with a simple drag and drop interface. Third person shooter bundle, which is two essential packs to set up a third person shooter, which has got a cover and the shooting system. This includes loads of functionality, including a massive cover system, auto navigation to cover, turning corners, transitions, you can do full shooting, changing weapons, picking up ammo, aiming, reloading, long and short distance weapons, and so many features. And the last one in this selection is the Epic Tune Visual Effects 2, with 10 awesome tune effects with sound effects, all in different styles. So be sure to check out all these out, and I thought it was a great one to feature, because I think everybody loves something for free. I always get these, because it's always looks so awesome. So be sure to check out my Patreon too to get over 200 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And I will put all the links to this and all the rest of the stuff that you can find in Game Dev for Savings. And do be sure to check out my website to get a free asset to get 20-30% to off compared to what you can on the Unity store. 
and thank you to all my patrons. Big thanks to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.